I thought that what a clever way of trying to discuss the um, the experience of working mothers everywhere and the pitfalls and the feelings that come with not being able to be there and the that sort of deep um, feeling of guilt or inadequacy if you can't make everything happen all at once um, and to then turn it into something physical uh, and add that aspect of horror and, and intrigue just was like such a special and interesting thing to to do i i was really um, riveted by the by the script and i i jumped at the chance to to do it yeah that's a good question my thoughts on the script were just really i was like taken back i was so already invested in the script and the script was you know it's an episode and you want more when i read the script i wanted more <laughs> i didn't know what it would be like to work with with an animal um i was I thought that that would be the biggest challenge of the episode, and it ended up being one of the easiest parts uh, to talk to an animal. Um, I thought the whole day was going to be about, uh, oh, no, the duck's moved. Oh, no, the duck is quacking. Oh, no, we didn't get the shot. Um, and the duck was incredibly well-behaved, a pleasure. Um, one of my favorite coworkers and the hardest part of the, about the job was the acting, which is kind of always what the hardest part is for me. No, uh, the, this, the script came to, to my team. They sent it to me. I, I read it and, and I'm, it, this is one of those lucky moments where it sort of comes to you and I, and I was really pleased to be a part of it, yeah. Yeah, I don't want to give too much away because I feel like if I talk about my audition process, it'll give the story away. Um, but I really had to go deep internally and find ways to make myself feel more like Jane. And I remember like just getting dirt and like putting it on my face. And like, I remember being, you know, usually I would shower and stuff before I do my audition tapes, but I just remember being like, no, the dirtier, the better. And the more oily I looked, the, the better. Um, and I wore like, I think I wore my, my dad is like six, four and he, you know, he's a big guy and I'm pretty sure I like wore his clothes. Um, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Um, I was very, very lucky. I worked with the two women who created the show, uh, Liz Flayhive and Carly Mensch, on um, a previous job called Nurse Jackie. So we knew each other. We were also friends. Um, so they kind of came to me with the project and invited me to be a part of it, um, which is a very lucky position to be in. But it also means that you don't know if they're going to like what you do until you show up on set and open your mouth. Yeah. Just reading and, and the things I'm, I'm surrounded by by mothers. I'm surrounded by women who are who are having to juggle all of that and, and navigating through that. And Rashida, my director, and I, we had a conversation about what it really was that we were trying to sort of put, push to the surface and how we were trying to do it. We both sat and found the the kid that I could connect with the most and. Um, we just I was sort of like taken through the entire process so I knew kind of what it wanted to look like and what kind of style we wanted Ambia to be like and what kind of you know relationship she wanted to have all of those things um, it, everything was sort of like part of the, the process of, of uh, preparation to, to do this series yeah yeah I mean uh, preparing for Jane was so I ride horses um, already luckily, but I had to learn how to ride bareback and riding Western and bareback is like a completely different world. So I had to do like seven weeks of horseback training of just riding with no saddle. <laughs> um, I rode with my costume a lot. I, it was probably the most uh, physically exhausting experience just because and it was only for a week and a half of shooting but I felt like the experience was just so long overall <laughs> I did what I usually do which is to work um a lot just with the material uh the thing that was different about this project was that um I spent some time with Justin the duck that I was working with so uh just to get comfortable with each other yeah, so that was a first. I would describe her as determined, vulnerable, uh, 
intelligent, funny, quirky, stylish. Yeah, all of those things, all of those things, yeah. Hardworking, for sure. I think I think you get a really good idea of where Jane is in her life. She's very independent. She's very just, she has her horse and that's all she needs. And, and then you see this other person coming along. And I think that's also the beauty of, of the girl who loved horses, because you then realize that it's not just about one thing. It's actually about opening up your heart to more things around you and love. And I think that I really love the relationship between the two girls, because at first it's not about that. And then it is about that. The, the, so there are two scenes. There's the, there's a there is the scene in the house. Um, it's, I think it's sort of right, right after the very first scene. It's sort of like the second or third scene uh, in in the piece where you know it's sort of like a moving scene. So it's all like it's in one space in the in the kitchen, but you're seeing it from those different points of view. We spent a lot of time shooting that particular scene just because of the logistics of it, but it. I wouldn't say this next scene was a challenge. I would say it was a really meaningful scene. And that's probably one of the last scenes in the episode where she sort of finally puts words to the feeling that she's having. And 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 that's really how she could start to to heal and mend. But that's that particular moment was really special. Everyone sort of um uh connected with it at that moment. When when we finished shooting that seen everyone was in tears crying so so we all sort of had connected to that moment it was very very special very special yeah actually gosh i think the hardest scene they didn't actually use the hardest scene um yeah there was a there was a moment where we i had to lay on the bed and the camera was over me and it was just processing you know what actually just happened and i was like crying and you know it was very distraught or then when i Oh, that's going to give it away. I mean, the horseback riding in general was very difficult because I, I had a stunt double, Paloma, who was amazing. But I really, since I'm a horseback rider, I try to do as much as I could by myself. And there was one where um, I had to go up the hill and I'm so glad they used it because it's actually me. And I, I think that was the hardest because at the very end, I was like, whoa, I haven't gone that fast in so long. But they used it and I feel so proud of myself. <laughs> I can tell you one of my favorite moments was uh, turning around and having Justin the duck be unexpectedly um, somewhere he wasn't supposed to be. And I had a very strong startle response to that. And it gave me one of the best laughs of um, the last year uh, because the last year had been like the first year of COVID. So it had been a little um, lacking in jolliness. So I appreciated that about the job. 